Our postcard today is from the Palace Het Lo, Appeldoorn, in the province of Gelderland, in the Netherlands. <coughs> These are very special gardens. Where are we, Rennie? In Palace at Lowe, in Apeldoorn, in the middle of the Netherlands. And um, this garden was made in the 17th century, the end of the 17th century, uh, built by uh, King William III. He was stadtholder of the Netherlands and he became King of Great Britain in 1689. So this is William of William and Mary fame. Yes. His wife was Mary. Mm -hmm. And I didn't realise, and I bet lots of my friends and your new friends out there didn't realise that he actually had lands here which uh, he, he came and visited. Yes. He, he, this was his be most beloved place in the Apeldoorn, in Het Low, because he was a fanatic hunter. And uh, each year, um, I mean it was uh, in um, August or September, then he came to Hedlow and he was hunting here for weeks and uh, he loved that. But he had also um, discussions and meetings with ambassadors or politicians or friends or family. But it was a magnificent place to hunt. Deers, hares, uh, falcons and wild boars. Very important. So a lot of hunting yes, took a lot place of here because, because he actually died in the end, didn't he? He fell off his horse. Yes, he fell, yes, hunting. He, uh, his um, horse fell over a mole, a, a little animal. Yes. And uh, he fell off and he broke his shoulder. And um, you can read in the books that he was sitting at the open window and he got a cough and then he died. Because his enemies still have a little toast. Yeah. To Mr. Mole. Yeah. I don't yeah, 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 know. Yeah, 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 yeah. Yeah, I know we, that. We've done yeah, that yeah, before, yeah, you know. Yeah. These grounds and this palace, it is so symmetrical. It's like a doll's house, a big doll's house, isn't it? <laughs> and in Hampton Court, there is the similar symmetrical um, additions mm -hmm. to the palace, the William and Mary chambers. Take us around the palace. Yes, uh, the symmetry is most essential for the palace. Uh, it was one design, the palace and the garden. And when you came as a guest, you walked to the end of the house, so you came at the garden side, then you went by a stair up to the first floor, and at your left hand side, at the east side, was the apartment of Queen Mary. But when you had to go to William III, then you had to go to the west side. There was his apartment. And you walked from one room into the other. So that's what we call an enfilade of rooms. So all the, the servants were walking through all these rooms. And when you came in these apartments as a guest and you walked again to the direction of the garden, then you ended in the private cabinet of uh, or uh, Queen Mary or uh, King William III. And there was the private smallest room, but the most important room actually, because uh, from there they could look in their private garden and also in the big garden for everybody. There's a long gallery with many pictures. Yes. Are these all from the House of Orange? Yes, uh, the, the pictures are all portraits of members of the House of Orange. And the oldest ones are from the 16th century, and it's going up to the end of the 18th century. These beautiful marble dolphins, aren't they cute? Well, you thought dolphins were just a thing of the modern age. Everyone wants to swim with dolphins. But you know, these were actually created and made in 1686. But you know, the interesting thing is that when Napoleon invaded most of Europe, including here with the Netherlands, the servants of the royal palace hid these dolphins, hid them in the cellar of the old palace over there. And that was in 1795. 
who would have believed, therefore, in the early 1970s, when the restoration of this great place at Hetlow was being carried out, that these dolphins would be rediscovered, the buried treasure of those days of Napoleon. And what happened was they were found and placed here, and now they are working. They are doing what they should have done all those many hundreds of years ago. Not lost, but reborn. Going back to William and Mary and the decor in the palace, there are some beautiful drapes, um, silk wool hangings. Where did these all come from? Is this all original? Um, well, that's, that's nice that you are asking that, because we got from the Queen of Great Britain a little piece of uh, textile on lawn to send to a tour in France where all the textile is woven. And uh, so this was a pattern uh, which they could use to have the nice uh, design for the textile um, in the age of uh, William and Mary, because there are other textiles also in the house, uh, newly woven. Now somebody who many Britons, now I was about to say ancient Britons, but they go way back, but older people in Great Britain know is, is Queen Wilhelmina with her big fur coats and that glorious sculpture of her in the hay, which really does sum her up beautifully. Um, now she came to the throne as Queen Victoria was well, passing on, about three years difference, wasn't there? And there's some beautiful portraits in there of her with her mother, Queen Emma. Mm -hmm. What sort of person was Queen Wilhelmina? She was quite strong-willed, wasn't she? Yes, Queen Wilhelmina was a woman with a strong discipline. And, but uh, she learned that uh, from her mother, Queen Emma. And Queen Emma was the second wife of King William III. Uh, Queen Wilhelmina was born um, when her father already was 63 years old. There's a big difference between mother yeah. and father's ages? Oh yes, there was a, a, a difference of 42 two years. 42? 42 yes. years uh, between King William III and Queen Emma. And a year later they got a daughter, Queen Wilhelmina. And um, William III had, from his first marriage, three boys. But they were so feeble and they were already dead. So uh, during the education of Queen Wilhelmina, she was learned to be a strong woman because she was not allowed to become like her brothers. And, um, and that was the reason also that Queen Emma, her mother, asked um, English governors to help her with the education of Queen Wilhelmina. And Queen Emma said, well, I like the English education more than the German, although she was a German girl. And so Elizabeth Sexton Winter came to the Netherlands and she was there for 10 years. So she was very important for the education of Queen Wilhelmina. But Queen Wilhelmina f didn't like her so, because <laughs> she, <laughs> she was so disciplined and so cold. And yeah, but later, she, that is very interesting, uh, she wrote long, long, long letters. All the life of Miss Sexton Winter, she wrote. They, they wrote each other. And that's so amazing when you read all these letters from a little girl, eight, six years old, until uh, yeah, until 34 or 36 when Miss Sexton Winter died. And she even visited Miss Sexton Winter in England.